Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about measurement. We've been talking about measurement with science. Who can tell me what is a tool that we could use to measure length? Claire, a ruler or a what? Mason? Meter stick. The standard units of measure that we're used to and familiar with here in the United States are inches, feet, miles, yards, and then in the metric system, we use centimeters, meters, kilometers, millimeters, and um, the Indiana standard says that you guys in fourth grade need to be able to measure a line or an object to the nearest eighth of an inch. So that means that each one of these inches, you would divide it into eighths or eight equal parts. And then you need to be able to measure it to the nearest eighth. Okay? So, this first ruler is just divided into inches. So, these are inch marks, and you're supposed to trace each of those inch marks with a yellow highlighter, marker, color pencil, crayon, what have you. Okay? And on a standard ruler, there are 12 inches. Who knows why they put 12 inches on a ruler? Why are there 12 inches on a ruler, Harper? Right, because that makes one foot and the standard ruler is a foot long. Okay, so on this ruler what they've done is they've cut each inch in half or divided it into two equal parts. So we are going to take an orange and we're going to trace each of the half inch marks in orange. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? And then we're going to go back and we're gonna trace each of our one inch marks in yellow. So, if you were asked to measure to the nearest half inch, this is kind of a confusing question. Because sometimes you think, oh, I'm supposed to measure to the nearest half inch. I need to measure to one of these orange lines. But that's not true. Because each of these lines represents a half of an inch. That's a half inch. This is another half inch, which gives you a whole inch. Then we have another half inch, which is one and a half inches, and then another half inch taking us to two inches. So if it says to measure the line to the nearest half inch, and this just let's theoretically say ends right here, is that closer to two and a half or three? Three. So if we're measuring to the nearest half inch, we don't have to say two and a half. It's still closer to three. It's just saying that we don't have to measure it to a quarter of an inch, but every one of those lines represents a half of an inch. It's just that the yellow line also represents a whole inch. Okay? Now this, um, ruler is divided into fourth inches. So they've taken one inch and divided it into four equal parts. Can you see that? Okay, so your job is to trace each quarter inch in red. Now, I know that you guys really want to work ahead of me and you're gonna go ahead and do all these in red and then you're gonna quickly pick up your yellow or orange pencil and start doing all of those. But I want you to stop after you do these in red because I want to show you something. Okay, now what I want to show you is that the one half inch line is longer than the one fourth inch line. Does anyone know why? 
Why would the one half inch line be longer than the one fourth inch line? Harper? That's true, what else? Anyone else have a thought about that? Yes, sir. Um, a half is more significant than a fourth? Well, it's greater than, I don't know, it, if it's more significant, because it depends on what you're measuring, if it matters if you have a really tight measurement or not. Okay, the reason I wanna point out these longer lines is because every time you have a longer line, it's really an equivalent fraction. Because this is one fourth and this is one half. What is the equivalent fraction there to one half? What else could we call that fraction besides one half, Macy? Two fourths. Two fourths. So they are showing you, if you're just counting fourths, oh, that's one fourth, two fourths. When you see that longer line, you know that that can be reduced to a smaller fraction, which is one half. Actually, it's an equivalent fraction. It just has a smaller numerator and denominator, okay? So every time you see, and then again, that three-fourths, four-fourths, okay, that can be reduced to one. Okay, so go ahead and hit those in yellow for me. Yes, sir. It's really hard the bottom is going to do. It's going to be a little challenging, isn't it? Oh, wow. Can you get taller and Okay. So, now we have a ruler that has each inch divided into eight equal parts. Now, again, this is your fourth grade standard to be able to read a ruler to the nearest eighth of an inch. Now, remember. Just because it might say read it to the nearest eighth of an inch, you're going to read it to the nearest quarter, the nearest half, the nearest whole, whatever it's closest to, okay? So our eighth of an inches need to be in blue. And there are these shortest lines, one eighth. The next line is two eighths, or look, it's a little bit longer, one fourth. Then we have three eighths, and then look, four eighths or one half, it's longer. Five eighths, six eighths or three fourths, seven eighths, and then we have one whole, which could also be eight eighths. Okay, so shade in each eighth mark blue. Then each one of our quarter inches are going to be red. Picked up the wrong color. So that's two eighths or one fourth. It's longer. Six eighths or three fourths. Two eighths or one fourth. Six eighths or three fourths. It is colorful. It hurts. Well, we're gonna wait until the six, the, till tomorrow to do the sixteenth. So we'll give your little hands a break. Okay, and then our half inches are still orange. Oh, 
thank goodness. They're lining up. You're almost done with this torture. Okay, we're not packing up yet. Just wait a second. So this half of an inch could be two fourths or four eighths. Either one. The half inch could be two fourths or four, four eighths. But what should you say? Should you say two fourths or four eighths or one half? One half. You always want to give it the reduced fraction. Okay, where are you going to put this paper? Because we're going to do the 16th tomorrow. In your red math folder. The EL quick check review one through three is due Friday in Play 7 IXL.